What is this car? It's a Nova. What color is it? Red. Yeah. Whose car is it? Granddaddy's. Granddaddy's Red Nova. All right, we're gonna talk about this car. And if you are a faithful follower of the Hot Rod Hoarder YouTube channel, then you have seen this car. And I wanna apologize for not giving you more updates. We got busy working on this thing and it just kind of slipped my mind to keep updating you guys. But this is pretty much the finished product. This is not by any means a show car or a finished car. It still needs some work, still needs some stuff, but it's got a nice driver quality paint job on it. It's got a nice little stance and it's got some nice little details. So I wanna show you guys what we've done to this car. And uh, if you saw it before, I mean, that's been two or three years ago, maybe longer than that. And uh, this car wasn't a bad car. Very solid body, had a little bit of rust on the lower quarter over on the passenger side. We got a patch panel, put that in there. The rest of this thing was very solid, uh, pretty straight. I mean, it had had a couple of paint jobs and it had actually been wrecked up here in the front. And, uh, you know, typical for a car back then, they were just cars that you drove. And this one is especially a driver because it is a six cylinder automatic and nobody ever hot rodded it. Nobody ever V8 swapped it. I mean, this is a survivor as far as the drivetrain is concerned. So this thing has been in our family, been in my father-in-law's family since the 90s. Let's open up the hood. I'm gonna hand the phone over to Isaac. Get it to where you can see the car. There you go. That's better. All right. I'll open this hood. Good job, buddy. Thanks for doing that. So 194 cubic inches, 120 horsepower. This was the most thrifty, as it says right here, high thrift. This is the most economical engine you could get in a Chevy 2 in 1966. And this one is pretty much bone stock. Uh, nothing really to talk about there. So there's really nothing that needs to be talked about. It cranks up and runs so good, super smooth, super quiet. It's perfect as far as running and driving goes. I did add power brakes and disc brakes to the front. You'll see behind the spokes there, it's just got some generic disc brakes that's actually from CPP and underneath you'll have to pardon the cobwebs or anything else it's got a CPP mini subframe kit which eliminates the uh, little torsion bars on the front and puts a standard A-frame control arm on the bottom and we kept with the stock style springs and other suspension components uh, because the car rides good. We didn't want to change the ride height or anything like that. Uh, you'll notice it's got vintage air on it now, which is a really nice addition to this thing. It keeps it nice and cool on hot summer days. Got aluminum radiator in there that keeps the engine cool. And uh, got some nice new parts on here from Classic Industries, the grill, headlight bezels. Uh, I think maybe the hood trim mirror, door handles, that kind of stuff came from Classic Industries. But what we couldn't get was this side trim. And that was a major job to restore that, straighten it up, polish it out. And had I known what kind of job that would have been, I probably would have shaved those holes and made it a Super Sport clone because the Super Sports didn't have that trim on it. So lesson learned on that. So uh, we've got a few other new pieces, new tail light assemblies new emblems on the back um, all the glass is the original stuff we put some new weather stripping in it um, nothing real major i mean didn't take this thing all the way apart by any means and certainly wanted to keep the drivetrain as original as possible the power glide transmission shifts out perfectly uh, i don't know what the rear end ratio is but it's great everything hits the road really nicely it's definitely not a hot rod as far as horsepower goes but it's smooth driving down the road and it's just a neat little car. And when you're at a show with this thing, we've taken it to a couple places, people just don't expect to see the six cylinder. You know, you see the 66 and seven Novas all the time and they typically have a 383 stroker or, you know, some kind of maybe a LS swap or something like that. 
and this one is just bone stock and because of that it gets a lot of attention a lot of remarks and a lot of memories of people that remembered cars like this back when most novas had six cylinders in them so pretty neat old car i wanted to show you guys kind of the finished product i'm going to be driving it back home to georgia to deliver it obviously it needs some interior love at some point but it's functional like it is so we're going to just hopefully enjoy this thing drive it down the road drive it to cruise ins and car shows and stuff like that and uh, let these kids enjoy it too because they all love these old cars and this one it's been took apart it's been sitting hadn't really been using it a whole lot so we're looking forward to getting it back out on the road and uh, just enjoying it. <laughs> Take pictures of me. Take pictures of me.